In this demonstration, I'm going to attempt to collect some absorption spectrum data from several different types of transitional elements, particularly elements in solution. And because of crystal field splitting or crystal field theory, we know that transitional elements have color. Um, and what I want to do is shine a white light or as close to a white light as I can find through these solutions. And you can see to the right, I have a diffracting lens that is uh, showing a, a somewhat of a complete spectrum. I'm not sure how the colors are coming out. And to the left, you see the bright light source. So I'm going to put the different solutions. You're going to see the bright light source or the colored solutions to the left. And you're going to see the diffracted pattern of light that comes out. And my hope is that we can see some missing parts of the spectrum that indicate what part of the spectrum the actual elements, or I should say in this case, ions, transitional ions, are using or absorbing what part of the visible spectrum are they absorbing. So let's get started. I'm going to uh, start with, um, I believe, an iron solution. So I'm going to take a ferric chloride solution. This is iron plus three, and it's a yellow solution, as you can see. Now be, look very carefully at the full spectrum, at least what I'm trying to show is the full spectrum there to the right. And now I'm going to put the iron solution, which is a yellow mm -hmm. color. And you can see the yellow color to the left. And what you should be seeing at this point is that what part of the spectrum is missing? Well, we see that the blue part of the spectrum is clearly missing here. As I take it away, you see the full spectrum. And then, of course, as you see, the blues disappear as I put that here. So that's why blue and yellow are complementary colors, at least that's how I've learned it. And the reasoning is that if you're seeing a blue color, it's because essentially, or at least we're seeing a yellow color, is because, well, this uh, iron plus three complex ion in this solution is using the bluer part of the spectrum. So take away the blues and you're left essentially with all the yellow color. Okay, back to the full spectrum. And now I'm gonna deal with a copper solution, copper chloride, this is copper plus two. And all I'm going to do here is see the full spectrum, and now you can see that some is missing. Now it's a green solution, famous green-blue solution, I guess. I'm colorblind, so I have a difficult time with that. But you can see the green to the left is coming through, which means what part of the spectrum is missing? Well, hopefully, if I look at my uh, my uh, my uh, uh, full spectrum there or my absorption spectrum, I can see that if I'm seeing green, okay then the green part of the solution, or the green photons coming out, are, are, being, are seen in the uh, spectrum, but the, um, the red and the blues, of course, and the other ends of the spectrum are being absorbed. So we know grass is green, a lot of plants are green, because chloroplasts take up or absorb the red and the blue part of the spectrum, and that's why you see green. Those part of the spectrums get absorbed, you're left with the middle part of the spectrum which is the green. So pretty cool, I think. And of course, this is absorption emission uh, data we're collecting. Not really data, but just kind of a demonstration. Uh, now, I have a uh, permanganate solution, potassium permanganate. We all know that the MnO4 permanganate ion, the Mn plus 7 ion, okay, gives off a purple color. So here's our purple color, and here's our full spectrum. Here's our purple color, and you can see what's missing. And you can see that well, if you're seeing a purple color, we know that that's usually reds and what? Okay, reds and blues. And if you notice, the opposite of the one I just did here, we're missing the green part of the spectrum. The green part of the spectrum is being absorbed, and the red and the blues are shining through. Here it is, full spectrum. Here it is, what? The green missing. So the green is now missing, which means clearly the red and the blues are shining through. Okay, or I should say, I'm sorry, the red and the blues are being uh, used, okay, or taken up and absorbed by the complex ion in solution here. So there it is, and yeah, and let's go back to the green because it's a nice contrast, okay, of my copper chloride solution. This is the opposite, it's green, we're missing the blues and the reds. Here, you're missing the green. Pretty cool, I think. All right, and I guess I got one more for reviewing displeasures. And this one is uh, dichromate ion, okay? So this is chromium ions. And you can see that's got an orange kind of color to it. There's the full spectrum, and there's the orange. And if you're seeing the orange coming through, 
what do we have in our full spectrum? Well, it looks like we lost some of our blues. As we talked about before, when things are yellowy, you lose part of your blue. So obviously this has a little more red than the others. So a nice example of absorption spectrum and how you would read an absorption spectrum if it was really um, a qualitative device. This is, uh, this is a uh, quantitative device. You would actually re measure the missing parts of the spectrum and what wavelengths are missing. And what's missing, you would actually calculate those wavelengths that are being used and absorbed. Here we're just kind of seeing what parts are missing qualitatively. Okay, but interesting, I think, nonetheless.